Today we're going to look at a really beautiful elementary result as to when the area of a triangle and the perimeter of a triangle coincide. And in fact, given the following setup where we have a triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, and the angle opposite C is theta, what we'll do is show that the area of this triangle equals the perimeter of this triangle if and only if a plus b minus c equals 4 times cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is express the area in terms of maybe a, b, c, and theta. Probably not all of those quantities, but a few of them. So what I'll do is I'll drop a perpendicular line so that it bisects A or the side A at a right angle. And then here I'll call this H, obviously the height of the triangle. And kind of obviously the area of this triangle is what? Well, it's going to be A times H over 2. Just given the fact that the area of a triangle is base times height over 2. But now what we'll do is express H using trigonometry in terms of B and theta. And well, let's just observe over here in this bubble that the sine of theta, well, that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse is H over B, meaning that H is equal to B times sine theta. So putting that together, we have the area is A times B times the sine of theta over 2. But now kind of obviously the perimeter is simply equal to A plus B plus C. There's nothing really going on there. So now what we'll do is set the area equal to the perimeter and see what we can get out of that. I'm going to maybe do that along with another step, which is to clear this denominator. So that'll allow me to write this as 2a plus 2b plus 2c equals a times b times the sine of theta. But now what I'd like to do is work towards eliminating c. And I can do that with the law of cosines, which can be thought of as like a generalization of the Pythagorean theorem. But in order to do that, I'm going to isolate c or really isolate 2c. So here I have 2c is equal to, I'm going to write this as minus 2a minus 2b plus ab times the sine of theta. And now what I'll do is I'll take this entire quantity and I'll square it. So that's going to give me 4 times c squared equals, this will be 4 times a squared plus 4 times b squared plus a squared b squared sine squared theta. So those are all the pure terms in the, you know, distributive rule applied to this right hand side. And then we have the cross terms. So we'll have a minus 4 a squared b sine theta. That's from taking this minus 2a multiplying into this a b sine theta. We pick up two copies of that just by you know, the distributive rule. And then we get other similar things like minus 4ab squared sine theta and then a plus 8ab. Now I'm going to do two steps at once. I'm going to move this 4a squared b squared over to the left and then I'm going to divide the whole thing by 4. So what will that give me? So I'll have c squared minus a squared minus b squared is the same thing as a squared b squared sine theta over 4 and then minus a squared b sine theta minus a b squared sine theta and then plus a 2ab. And now this is where we're going to use the law of cosines to rewrite this right hand side or I should say this left hand side. And in fact, the law of cosines will say that that is equal to minus 2 times a times b times cosine theta. So I'll let you guys recall or look up what the law of cosine says if you need to. And then while I'm at it, since I've got uh, a times b over here on the left, I'll factor it in a times b over on this right. 
So if I do that, I'll have an A times B out in front of the whole thing. And then I'll be left with A times B times sine squared theta all over four. And then minus B times sine theta minus A times sine of theta. And then finally plus uh, two times or not times anything because we factored this A times B out. Now, next up, the obvious thing to do, if you will, is to cancel this AB with this AB. And then, well, where are we gonna go from there? Well, I'm not gonna quite multiply everything by four to clear this denominator. I'm gonna multiply everything by two. And that's gonna give me minus four times cosine theta equals, so this is gonna be A times B times sine theta over two times another sine theta. So I took that sine squared and I wrote it as sine times sine. And then a minus B sine theta times two and then minus two times A times sine theta. And then we'll have a plus four here. Okay, great. But now let's look carefully at what we have and observe that this object right here is exactly equal to the area, which is equal to the perimeter, which is equal to A plus B plus C, kind of by our given. So now, well, what do we have? We have A plus B plus C times sine, minus two B times sine, minus two A times sine. So in the end, we're going to have minus A minus B plus C times the sine of theta plus a 4 over here on the left. And we have a minus 4 cosine theta over here on the right. But now we're pretty close to our final formula. Let's maybe divide everything by sine. And that's going to give us 4 cotangent theta over here on the left. And then we'll have minus A minus B plus C over here on the right, and then plus a four cosecant theta. But now we'll do the final step, which will be to take this minus A minus B plus C, move it over there to the left-hand side of this equation, and take the four cotangent and move it over there to the right-hand side of this equ equation. And in the end, that's going to leave us with A plus B minus C equals 4 times cotangent theta plus 4 times cosecant theta. But observe that that's exactly where we wanted to end up. And that's a good place to stop.